know, I'm just taking type here because it has quotes. And this is a great little article by Elizabeth Cohen, if you want to see. I just wanted to let you know I am just taking this straight from here. It's a cute little thing about this dog that takes us Ryan Nyson. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to show you something. This is correct. The comma is inside the quote marks. As you see, CNN does it correctly. And I've just pulled this text straight from her article. So here again, we see, for some reason, people do this incorrectly all the time. So they'll do a quote and then a comma. And if you look at it, it looks weird, right? You have this comma, and this comma is supposed to be a pause for after the word have. So even if you look at the importance, it's the pause, not the quote necessarily. So this is correct and it actually looks a lot better and he's not hanging out on the end. If I was coloring this quote, I, or I was bolding this, I would bold or do whatever to all of these parts. This quote or the any punctuation is all gonna get that same text um, effect. Let's do bold so we can see it a little bit better. Again, if you have this not in bold, if this was just regular, it ends up standing out more in a weird way. So the actual kerning is better from the computer. Um, a lot of times people will color or something. They'll color, and uh, we're going to make it pink. What happens is the end ends up the period becomes more of a statement than it needs to be. Again, it should follow along with the paragraph or with the sentence or with the statement. Punctuation should look like whatever the letter is before it and no matter what, whether it's color, uh, style, bold, weight, whatever.